is the negative impact if we don't care about it. Foraging crimes will ruin the economic growth of the country. First is statistics of crime rates involving foreigners. The truth is, Media report had in fact recorded that the crime rates involving foreigners was recorded at 42,451 cases in 2019 to August 2020, according to the Ministry of Home Affairs (KDN). The ministry had also recorded that uh, a total of 12,647 cases involved death, 11,862 cases of burglary, and 4,822 cases from motorcycle death. Nevertheless, due to the effort of the Royal Malaysian Police, the overall, the overall uh, crime index involving foreigners show a decline from uh, uh, 13,110 cases in 2020, uh, 2019 to 11,441 cases in 2020 and 10,751 cases in 2000, uh, 2021. This is, uh, I also strongly believe that uh, our country's economy will be threatened by the influx of virgin workers. This is because the issue of the outflow of uh, national currency at high rate every month will be detrimental to the country in terms of currency exchange, which uh, could be carried out easily and quickly and offering cheap services. Based on media report, almost almost RM5 uh, ringgit billion of the um, country's money flow out through foreigners, uh, foreigners country working for a year in construction sector. The second negative impact is will threaten the economic growth of the country. Obviously, according to the chief executive of the Malaysian Construction Industry Development Board which is CIBG, uh, Datuk Ir Ahmad Asri Abdul Hamid Currently there are 422,000 foreigners workers uh, Registered with the Malaysian Immigration, Immigration Deba Department Which is GYM In the sector If they send remittance abroad uh, of 1,000 a month It is estimated that almost 5 billion of our money flows abroad Apart from that The government will also have to incur a high cost of uh, 1.169 million for the purpose of detaining illegal immigrants within a day. This will put a high burden on the country's, uh, country's finance and will threaten the economic growth of the country. The increase in the number of positive cases of COVID-19 also be attributed to the issue of foreign workers and their employers. A rubber glue factory is one of the biggest uh, contrib con contributors to the case in Selangor where the employers neglected the right and welfare of foreign workers. They were placed in cramped space with a very bad infrastructure. In my conclusion, clearly I really hope that this matter will not be swept under the carpet. Surely the Ministry of Home Affairs and Ministry of Human Resource should investigate this truly. More importantly, both business both ministries need to be transparent as the public deserve to know at a time when the nation is faced with the economic challenges including the layoff local should be given priority to fill up every vacancy in the employment sector with so many un un unemployment and losing their source of income i am confident more locals will be willing to work in sector previously occupied by foreigners our people are no less great they, they are also be able to work in this sector as evidence in the construction uh, sector at, uh, and other heavy sector in S Singapore. The issue should now be about the needs of decent salary as opposed to harping on Malaysian being choosy. So, hiring foreign uh, employees are really hurts our economy and we cannot prevent the entry of for, uh, foreign employees because today attractive offers such as cheap labor. In my opinion, we can solve this by the government. Private sector and public should collaborate and find solution to country to decreasing hiring for employees that can hurt our local economy. So now that I have presented you with uh, such an amazing statement which is hiring for employees hurt the local economy, will you agree with my opinion? Or will you just doesn't care about what happened to our country that people hiring for employees? That's all from me. Thank you.